Here are the top three issues and fixes for getting your stuff from Figma to After Effects using AEUX. Let's dive in. Error number one, you can't find AEUX to download. If you've recently tried to download AEUX, you might have gotten something that looks like this. Recently, the domain name expired, and so the link changed to this. And all the same website is here, and you can download it, get up and running. The install instructions are all still relevant, and it's all at this new URL right here. Issue number two, your images are not importing correctly. A super common issue is that you're working on a design that has PNGs, or maybe you're wanting to rasterize a layer during export, and your images just don't show up here in After Effects in the way that they're supposed to. In the AUX panel, there is this image save path right here. And by default, there is no folder selected. So make sure you select a folder somewhere where you can just dump all of your AUX exports, all the images, all those sorts of things, dump it all in here, and that will usually clear up most of the import problems with image. Third most common issue is your rendering times are super slow in After Effects. Again, here in After Effects, if we bring up our AEUX panel, you can see that there is a comp size multiplier. This will go from 1x all the way up to 6x. What this means is, if we go into Figma, if I go ahead and import this right now, it will import this image in a comp that's sized to this parent frame. And this frame is sized at 390 by 844. When I do 1x, it'll make a comp in After Effects by 390 and 140, uh, 844. And if I do 2x, it will multiply this number by 2. And so therefore, in After Effects, I will then have a massive comp. So let's go ahead and just do a 3x. And we will send the entire selection to After Effects. And now you'll see that this thing is big. And if I go to this composition, you can see that it is over a thousand in the width and over 2000 in the height. And when you have more pixels, you have more information to render and everything slows down significantly. Make sure you're just doing 1x. In my UX motion work, 99% of the time, 1x is what you need. You don't really need anything more than that. And this will give you the most bang for your buck with the resources that your machine has to render things smoothly all the time. And for a bonus, here's another fix. Sometimes things just will not import from Figma into After Effects. Sometimes if I select an, an element like this and I send it to After Effects, I'll just get some weird error or this thing will just load forever and it just won't work. The first thing to try is to just create a brand new fresh frame right here. Copy and paste over this single element that you want to import and try to import that. Sometimes other things that are in the overall parent frame of our design will cause issues with AEUX. So if you're just needing a single thing, sometimes you just pull out that thing, put it in a fresh frame, and the import will work. And then you can kind of copy the other elements over until you figure out what's breaking the import process. And as a last ditch effort, if none of those fixes work, delete AEUX from Figma, from After Effects, reset your preferences in After Effects, restart your laptop or computer, and then reinstall everything. Make sure After Effects is up and running with the AUX panel open. Make sure Figma is up and running with the AUX panel open and try again. Hope this fixes a lot of the issues that y'all are having. Catch y'all next time.